we're back and what an amazing session this has been. You know, Pastor Namti, before we went on the break, I wanted to ask this, but I knew we had to take a break. How was it coming into Pastor Taiwo's world? Uh, a pastor of a very large church, uh, coming into a world where he's been known with Pastor Bimbo in a very prominent ministry, knowing that, you know, he had the people around him that were there to protect him and make sure everything was going on well. You're so balanced and secure. How was that? How did you handle that? And I'm sure a lot of women would like to know, you know, how do you have that confidence and self-esteem to just walk into his life and just, and just be, and just be you? Um, I really don't think it's something that I can explain. Hmm. I think I was just being me hmm. and with the help of God yes. because I had prayed about our relationship. Hmm. And when it was clear that I was going to come and live here, I also prayed that God would help me you know, stabilize in a new country. Yes. Because <laughs> I knew it wouldn't Lots be easy changes. to go to. So I think every other thing, it was God answering my prayers that I would mm. be able to be comfortable yes. and stabilize. Mm. And just being me, well, I think what also helped is I naturally love people. Mm. Uh, I'm <laughs> not a person to shy away from, from people. people. I love to know people, to yes. know more about people. Mm. I'm sure that also helped mm. to warm up to me. To mm. warm up into people's hearts. Yes. So that brings me to a question. Um, do you feel that being an older single um, prepared you also for coming into this new world? Do you feel that you had gone through those years, 20s, you know, 30s, getting used to, getting ready, and being your own woman? Do you yeah, think I some of those things were. I would definitely say so. Mm. I would definitely say yeah. so. And um, to top it up, to see the journey, my journey from South Africa to London. Mm. and for God to orchestrate me to go to a church where there was like, I think 80% Nigerian, it was an 80% Nigerian church. So yes. I got used to Nigerians, Nigerian ah. way of doing things. Mm. I started tasting their food. You know, I just thought I was being myself, enjoying church, enjoying yeah. people. Mm. But in hindsight, I can see that God was preparing me mm. for Nigeria. Right. So it's amazing. <laughs> amazing, yeah. that's an amazing journey. Yeah. And Pastor Taiwo, you know, having Pastor Nomti come into the church, how was it? How important was it for you that the church accepted her, or even you felt comfortable that they could appreciate the need for you to be remarried? Because some people could have been, you know, struggled well. Do we really have to change things? How important was that for you? Well, very important, hmm. very very important. Um, um, I think if um, someone in my position will have a fear, yes. to be the fear of accepting yes. my new wife. Hmm. But again, like I said in our earlier. Um, talk yes. um, so blessed with people mm. that love God so much that they love me yeah. and yes. they walk assiduously to make mm. sure that I was comfortable yes in fact they were defending me protecting mm. me and some mm. were even make suggestions <laughs> <laughs> that we consider certain women and certain women and when the press would try to you know descend yeah. on me for mm. an issue they mm. rose up squarely to mm. you know um, so it was very important I remember the first time that um, I settled the matter in my spirit man, and she was visiting, like I said, my peer, uh, who is a married man and with children. I um, mean, his own excitement was more than mine. Oh. I was like, wow. <laughs> then at that point, I picked the phone and I called down some one or two other people. Within minutes, they were all over where we were. Oh. Some were coming with flowers just oh. for me. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, so who is this woman? <laughs> and, uh, and I remember the day with the man, the very day we had, uh, I announced in church, we had free service, she was in the service, she was sitting somewhere yeah. at the back under the gallery. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew. And uh, I said, I think I have an important assignment. I made an announcement for you guys today. Okay. Some were suspicious. <laughs> so I said, the lady I'm marrying, I'm getting married to rather, is in service. Whoa. Ooh. Some people got up immediately. They stood on chairs. And some, yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness. And, around, and I said, no tea. Please, can you come forward? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The whole place was. No pressure. No at all. <laughs> and she stepped, she came confidently, walked mm. right to the altar. That's and right. of course, guess what? By the time we got to Maryland, coming towards Kenya, yeah. her photographs were everywhere. People, all over the place. Hockey. Oh my goodness. Social media Straight. Yeah. went viral. And uh, <laughs> again, she was able to take that. Yes, the one thing I realized right. about her, she's mm. a very patient person. Mm. She's very cool and calculated. Yes. Uh, things have been very smooth, but that's not to say that we didn't have challenges. Yes. Mm. Um, some 
weird challenges actually. Mm. Oh yeah, weird. Can you share maybe one very weird Ooh, one? Weird, weird. weird. <laughs> Just one. Good one. Yes. Good one. Just one. Okay. After happened a lot before we got married. Mm -hmm. After our wedding, now we're married. Moved even after we moved here. Some women will come to the gate. Oh. In the night. So that they would, they would like to see their husband. Oh my that goodness. God told them they will marry. <laughs> wow, that goes beyond weird. Uh -huh. Oh my and goodness. Some will busy call and call wow. and say all kinds of things on yes. social media. And some of them are labeled devil's voice. Yeah. So when they call, I know who was calling. Yes, yes. I mean, but in mm. Bentley, everything kind of fizzled out. Fizzled out, down. my goodness. So mm. A lot of credit to her. Yes. I haven't heard from God. Mm. Knowing fully where she was going. Yes. And of course, appreciating the acceptance and the love of people. Mm. And um, God has been good. Yeah. Um, oh, awesome. And what it's a been quite romantic for us. Yes, yes. It's amazing. <laughs> you know, it's so funny that we started off, you were stressing the importance of friendship. Um, when you started off, you know, in marriage before, and now rounding up, you've shown. I've been privy to this, and I know a lot of my viewers. You haven't seen the back end during, you know, when we went on, on break. But there's such friendship here, whispers, holding of hands, and it's real. It's natural. I can tell that you are both in that space, in that mm -hmm. zone. It doesn't normally happen for people twice, but it's happened for you, and I think that's credit to who you are, Pastor Taiwo, but definitely the awesome woman you are, Pastor Nomti. And I'm so happy. And if I can ask you, what would you say? We've talked about this is behind the pulpit, yes. and it's important for us to strengthen marriages. You've shared so many nuggets of truth. What would you say for your marriage with ministry in the background? Right. What's your next frontier? What's your new balance that you're creating? Yeah. The new think, rhythm? Yes. I think I'll take off from this point, Yes. whether it's ministry mm -hmm. or otherwise. Right. Naturally, what happens is that spouses take themselves for granted. Husbands yes. and wives. Mm. It's a natural thing. Mm. Why? I mean, you're used to one another, mm. and so when you begin to take each other for granted, you don't know. Yeah. And that will always cause a lot of damage. So yes. deliberately and intentionally, you want mm. to ask her, that, look, help me. Mm. Not to take her for granted. Yes. Not to take mm. him for granted. Yes. So that's some, 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 some active consciousness. Yes. And that helps quite a lot. Mm. So going forward, I believe strongly that um, it's a journey mm. uh, that um, will impact you, yeah. impact him even in uh, the next generation by the grace of God. Yeah. Because our children are watching. Yes. Mm. The next generation are watching. That's right. Or is watching. Mm. And then we are, we are careful how we model the present yes. for them. Very important. Uh, even right now in church, what we realize is that um, the challenges in marriage are just funny. Yeah. Mm. Some case bizarre. Mm. You see from the adult, but was more so from the from the youths. Yeah. So how we live our lives and how we are sincere to ourselves is very important to us. Mm. Do we have challenges? Okay. Yeah, we do. Mm. Uh, you want to say something? Yeah, I'd like definitely <laughs> want Pastor Nomte to to on that note yeah. round us up yeah. with you know your views of you know what the future would hold. Uh, um, what I like about it, how he does his style. First of all, when I first came. Uh, you know, I just observed and yeah. sat down. I didn't come mm. immediately and said, mm. here, I, here mm. I am, mm. I'm pastor's wife, now I'm taking over. Yes. I sat down and observed how they were doing things and gradually he would allow me to climb the pulpit and say yes. something. Mm. And now we're at the point where every Sunday before he preaches, I would share a promise with the congregation and yes. it's beautiful. Mm. And he has also given me a platform. We've just started not long ago we ask the two women to married women. Right. So mm. teaching them about marriage. Mm. And so I obviously I learned from the best. <laughs> and, and I learned from him and yes. with the things we are also going through and how we handle yeah. matters and mm. issues, mm. I'm able to teach others. So yes. uh, that's his heart. Family is, uh, is mm. his heart. So I'm yes. bought into, <laughs> into yeah. his vision mm. and working with women. He's working with men and sometimes we getting together. to, we come together. Yeah. And in fact, we're still, this one is still, he was th thinking because of the way marriages are, yeah. maybe we should take one Sunday a month mm. just to talk to couples. 
was to get brilliant. Them. Yeah, that's I what think he, that's fantastic. We haven't started, but he, he just <laughs> yes. so that will be something of the future. I think that would yes. be so so needed, and I yeah. think that would be something that uh, not just in the church a generation would need. Mm. So I hope and I look forward to that mm. as well. Thank you so very much for being You're a part welcome. of today's show. It's been <laughs> awesome having both thank of you, you here. You. And for everyone who has joined us today, thank you very much for being with us on Behind the Pulpit with Pastor Taiwan and Pastor Nomti Odukoya. Um, please follow us on our social media pages for more information. Uh, reach out to us. We look forward to seeing you next time. Catch you later. Bye, everyone. <laughs>